Hey everyone, Re2Gil here, and I'm gonna show you how you can save a Facebook timeline using Forensic OSINT. So let's go ahead and get started. We're looking at Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook profile. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on Forensic OSINT. We're gonna set a case. So we'll just create a testing case here. I'll add it. So now any captures I make will go into this case, which you'll see in the case management system in a second. So the first thing you're going to want to do with Facebook is capture the entire timeline as it is. Um, and then we're going to go into particular posts that you're going to want to expand comments, uh, expand the posts, that type of thing. Um, so first thing we're going to do is go here. And we're just going to click on capture full page. So the way Forensic OSINT works is it does a screen by screen capture. And it tells you what screen it's capturing. So it tells you where you are. And we're going to go through it. And you can see it scrolling in the background there as we continue to scroll further down. And I'm going to finalize capture early because this is for demo purposes. We can go see this in the case management system. And now it's just syncing to the server there. Here are your screen captures. Now you have the timeline, just say it's the whole timeline. The next thing you're going to want to do is download a PDF report. You can also download a full disclosure package, as you could see there. That includes all the individual image downloads, all the screen captures, all the hash values in separate folders. With the PDF, I'll show you what that looks like but essentially this is your PDF document with everything embedded inside. So the screen captures. And if you keep scrolling, you'll see the file hashes, any of that information that you need uh, regarding the images, all that information, the hash values are there. So let's just go back to Facebook. So say we captured that whole timeline and now you have some key posts that you need to capture. So what would you do next? The thing that you're going to do next is you need to open up these posts individually. So I'm going to click on the timestamp. So if this was one and you see all these comments of interest and you need to expand them as a investigator, as an analyst, you don't want to have to do that manually. So here I'm going to click on that post and I'm going to scroll down. There's a really long post. You can also see how many replies are on all this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Forensic OSINT and it actually tells you select all comments. So it gives you the prompt because it's easy to forget this. But so if we scroll here to the post and we say all comments, we have that and we still want to expand those. So we're going to click on Forensic OSINT, say expand all comments and you're going to start seeing them open up. And that's what you're seeing here. You just you can kind of scroll down if you want to see, and you can see them continue to open up. And this is an automated process um, that is built into Forensic OSINT. So from here, you're going to now capture a full page. And you're going to let Forensic OSINT make those captures. So of that post with the expanded comments. And for demo purposes, I'm not going to wait for all of them to capture, but I'm trying to give you an idea of how Forensic OSINT works and how you can apply it to your research and your investigations. You can see it scrolling in the background. You can see the expanded comments and Forensic OSINT is capturing it screen by screen. So I'll just finalize the capture early so you can see what the result is. We're going to look at it in the case management system again. And here we have the post. 
these are all different screen captures I'm clicking through. You can see everything's expanded, all the comments, replies that I have here. So that's to give you an idea of how Friends at GoSynt works when a, you are capturing uh, a Facebook timeline and a Facebook post. Um, again, and that next step would be download that PDF report. So you have that for your file. So here you have it, your PDF report, screen captures, all the expanded comments, the hash values, all the information here. So that's what I wanted to show you today. We went over Facebook. Um, first thing you want to do is capture the entire profile as it is. Second thing, if you have key posts and comments you want to expand and you want to get the entire post maybe because it's really long, you're going to individually click on these, open that post, and that's where you make that capture. And Friends of Gosent has that automated button that lets you click and expand comments easily. So go ahead, go give it a try. Um, thanks so much for watching today and stay tuned for more videos.